We're here at Scary Farm tonight, testing out the new mazes. Here's the new one, Paranormal Incorporated. This will be first up. So we just did special ops infected, um, better than last year, it's much longer, and there's not two sides like there was last year. Only complaint is that the weight was ridiculous.
So I just got off Dead of Winter. That was actually actually really bad. Not a good maze at all. Good concept, terrible maze, not scary, horrible theming, horrible story, no story. Um, so yeah, I want to get a get some video of accelerator launch in real quick. Then I'm gonna head over the silver bullet. Oh, hitting up the last uh, Schwarzkopf uh, shuttle loop in the United States, Montezuma's Revenge. This is actually my favorite ride at Knott's Berry Farm. I love it. I think it. I think it's way better than Accelerator, honestly. Um, and also, we're gonna get a good, great view of uh, Special Ops Infected. Those blue lights out there are actually the guns for it. Those are people. They're all shooting zombies out there.
over an hour left in the park. Very exhausted. Done the majority of the mazes. I think I have three or so left. And they're all old ones, so I don't know if I'll do them. I can review them. They're, they're the same as they were last year. Um, oh, I'm just gonna find, gonna try to find some kind of snack. I'm, I'm hungry. To go for like a slim gym or something that would be great. So I just got off my bloody Clementine, which is uh, the Calico Mine ride for Halloween, and that was pretty terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> now it's time for Pinocchio. It's 10 minutes before the park closes, and the park is pretty much dead now. Um, we got Voyage to the Iron Reef, which appears to have zero wine whatsoever. I really want to do it again, I just don't have time. Because there's still one more maze I have to do. And it's kind of sad because I've done it before in past years, but I'm gonna, I haven't, I've only done it once, so. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a good review, I'm gonna have to go and do it again. So, it's gonna suck because I want to do Iron Reef. There's a lot of stuff I didn't get to do, sadly. Wanted to do Riptide, I wanted to do Coast Rider, I wanted to do Boomerang. Uh, didn't get around to it. Uh, there's always next year. I really do love this Midway, though. It's amazing now. Very much like the Gemini Midway. Larson flying scooters. Great addition. I love the water. Love it how it's over the water. Great. And we got a few minutes before the park closes. I'm hoping what I can do is get on, get in uh, Black Magic like quickly get off and do Coast Rider. I really want to do Coast Rider for some reason, I don't know why. Even though it's the most trimmed wild mouse ever. It's time for the last maze of the night. And that concludes Not Scary Show for 2015. I'll have the full review up on my website, greatamericancoaster.co. Um, 
check that out for the full review. I got to do every maze tonight, so nothing will be left out. Everything will be reviewed. Uh, great night. Uh, sadly, didn't get on Coast Rider. I, as soon as I walked up, they shut it down. Sadly, that seems like a recurring theme today. It happened with the Gold Pass line at Hurricane Harbor earlier. I walked up to get my early entry, and they closed it literally a two seconds before I walked up. Same just happened with Coast Rider. Of course, nothing ever goes my way. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be walking out through the, the shortcut, as they call it. That gives us a great view of Montezuma's Revenge. Looks like the shortcut is actually closed for the night. Strange, but okay. So, gonna head out the long way then. The Silver Bullet way. On our way out, I do want to show where Windseeker was. Just for those of you who don't already know, it's gone. It's been gone for two or three years. They have a small little kids maze here for for uh, for the daytime. You see the planter there's actually the old footer for it. And that's the old windseeker sign. Same with those. That's going to conclude tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And see you guys at Fright Fest tomorrow.